Okay, uh, this is by a viewer request. Um, if you have a nice spectrum analyzer, um, it might not do everything you want it to do. Uh, one of the things that you might want to do is to take a look at the spectrum of audio frequency. But this particular spectrum analyzer only goes down to 9 kilohertz. So if you wanted to look at A440 or something, right, it's not, it's not going to show it. So if you want to test out your amplifier, you know, audio stuff, you're not going to be able to use a spectrum analyzer like this. Now they do make audio uh, frequency spectrum analyzers. I think most people would today would recommend that you get a very nice oscilloscope that has a good FFT function. Not all oscilloscopes have good FFT functions. Um, this one has a pretty good one. I think other ones probably have better, but get yourself a spectrum analyzer with a really good FFT for audio work. But let's say you got one of these and you want to use it anyway. Can you do that? So let's see, let's see what we can do. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the audio frequency that we want to measure and we're going to mix that with some frequency that this, that this can look at. So let's say we mix it with 100 megahertz, then uh, if we have 100 megahertz in the center of the screen, then the sidebands of the mixer will be our audio frequency, right? So I hope that makes sense. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to measure uh, a audio uh, audio frequency. I have this generator set to 1 kilohertz with a 100 hertz AM modulation on top of it, okay? We want to look at that with this thing that only runs down to 9 kilohertz. All right, so we're going to need a mixer. Uh, so I'm going to use this mixer here. If people are interested, uh, that's the part number of the mixer I've got. It's made by... Um, by many circuits. Okay, so here is our mixer. So uh, this mixer will run it at low enough frequencies that we can see everything. Okay, so you need to get the right mixer. Uh, the other thing we need is a local oscillator. Um, and I'm going to be using this that I have. It is a 80 megahertz um, local oscillator. So 80 megahertz at plus 17 dBm. Uh, usually in um, the data sheets of the mixer, it will tell you what LO, uh, what LO to use. Let's see here. Um, frequency. Oh, here we go. It's right up in bold letters. So the LO power plus 17 dBm. So we're right on, we're right, exactly right. We're at plus 17 LO power. And then we can use this thing, okay? All right, so we have a local oscillator, and we have a, whoop, there it is, a one kilohertz. So we have 80 megahertz and one kilohertz going into the mixer. So should, we should have 80 megahertz plus one kilohertz and minus one kilohertz, okay? So let's see if we can see that on the spectrum analyzer. All right, so uh, center frequency should be 80 megahertz, and there we have something. Uh, let's go ahead and set our amplitude to, oh, I don't know, minus 30. There, we can see it there. Now we need to zoom in. So let's do our span of, let's say, 10 kilohertz. And there we go. So here is our center frequency, and here are our two sidebands, plus and minus a kilohertz. Now our 80 megahertz isn't exactly 80 megahertz, so we'll do a peak center. And now we're in the middle. And... We can see these guys are fudging around, but we don't have enough resolution bandwidth yet to see inside. Our resolution bandwidth is only 100 hertz right now, and we're modulating with 100 hertz, so we need to get even any. Cl we need to get in closer, so we can do a span of let's say one kilohertz. Let's see what that does. Well, now they're off, off. So now we do the span of say two kilohertz. Uh, there we go. Now we're right on the edge. So that's not going to work, okay? So what we can do is we can change our frequency and we can come over here because this is this is really what we're interested in, right? Okay, so let's do a peak center on that. Oops, it's still saw it. It was still over there. So let's do frequency. Let's zoom over here and uh, let's zoom in a bit. We'll do a span of one kilohertz. 
There we go. Now we can see it. Now we can do a peak center. And here are our two carriers. All right. Um, no, this, this is the actual signal itself. I'm sorry. We are at uh, 80, 80 megahertz plus one kilohertz. Okay, so this is our actual signal. This is our one kilohertz signal, and this is our 100 hertz AM modulation. So there we go. We are seeing um, audio frequencies with a, a, uh, a spectrum analyzer that's not able to see audio frequencies by shifting it up, right? These might be artifacts. These might not be real. So whenever you use mixers and stuff, there are artifacts and there are things to worry about. But if you're just worried about, am I actually modulating? Am I actually doing an AM modulation, right? Uh, you can see that. Let me change the uh, signal to be an FM modulation and let's see if we can see that uh, FM. Let's see here, FM, and it beeped at me. Why did it beep at me? Frequency one, oh, let's do one, 100 hertz. And there we go. So there's a FM at 100 hertz. So uh, we've shown that we can look at audio frequencies. Remember the center of the screen now is one kilohertz. We're looking at 100 hertz. AM, uh, FM modulation. We'll go back to AM modulation and there we go. So there, there's a, a way to do it. Um, it does require some external equipment. Um, I've showed this trick before going higher than your spectrum analyzer. This one, this spectrum analyzer goes to 3.2 uh, gigahertz, but you could use a mixer and you could move it up in frequency to say 10, uh, 10 gigahertz and, and do that same trick going in the up direction instead of the down direction, okay? Um, so anyway, I hope that helps somebody and uh, makes somewhat of an interesting video.